Good morning Devils, this is Stephen House and this is Full Time Devils and this obviously is Transfer Daily. We're off to Villa Park later but before we get to that we've got transfers to discuss. First up today is Pedro. Pedro's one that's rumbled on for a couple of weeks. Um, Lou Van Gaal came out yesterday and said it's up to the player. This is in the Express and this is also on Sky. Quotes are out there that Lou Van Gaal says the transfer now is up to the player. Well, surely every transfer somewhere is up to the player. I know in the days of agents, the agents doing a lot of the work, but really every transfer is up to the player. I'm not sure what the hold-up is at the moment. Hopefully it's nothing too serious and we can get Pedro done because he's the sort of player that's going to improve us. And I think he's a sort of player that we really need, actually. Especially since Di Maria's gone, we need that sort of player that can run at someone and make something happen and Pedro is that guy. Next up is another player, similar experience, similar sort of age and that's Otamendi. Otamendi didn't play in a practice game for Valencia yesterday which has spent the press, into, the Spanish press at least, into meltdown. UK press still don't think that this transfer is going to happen. Marca and AS are unable to agree on what's happened in terms of fee. Some are saying 40 million pound, some are saying 50 million euros. He's supposedly got a release clause around that sort of mark, so why can't we get it done? Just pay the money, bring him over. Next up we've got Stones. Martinez has said time and time again that he will not be sold and Chelsea have had two bids rejected, but he still continues to be linked with Manchester United. Not sure why. We do not need another young up-and-coming centre-half, despite the fact that Stones is a good player. We've got centre-halves that are good and need experience and have got potential. We need a centre-half that's got experience, that's going to lead these young centre-halves and is going to turn them into serious footballers. That's what Otamendi would do. That's what we're lacking. So I don't understand why we would go for him. Then we've got the Ute. We've got Joel Pereira, goalkeeper. No relation to Andreas Pereira, Pereira but another good young player at the club. He's just signed the new deal and so has Josh Harrop. So it's good to see that we are keeping hold of those up and coming stars coming through the club and we're not just letting them go like we did with Pogba and Morrison because that was a big mistake on both parts. As I mentioned earlier, it is match day. We're off to Villa Park later. You can keep up with what me and Mac are doing on Twitter with the hashtag, hashtag MatchdayMac or you can follow us on Snapchat because I bet a lot of you didn't know we're on Snapchat but we are on Snapchat. Search for us on Full Time Devils, follow the stories, follow us on there and see what we're up to because we post something on there pretty much every day and it's pretty good. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and comment on this video. Tell me what you think about Pedro, Otamendi and Stones. We're going to be answering comments for the next couple of hours before we get on the road to Villa Park. Cheers, see you next week.